are the island boys gonna fall off? Now, if you don't know who this guy is, his name is 954 Enzo. He actually grew up with the Island Boys and he knew them before they were famous and he appeared in their early music videos. Over time, their relationship started to get sour and they even fought each other at one point. Once the Island Boys became successful, they decided that they were too important to associate with the little people, including myself. This enraged Enzo that his former best friends are successful and he still lives with his parents. So in retaliation, 954 Enzo goes live and says the Island Boys are eventually going to fall off just like Lil Esco. Now if you don't know Lil Esco, he made a few viral videos, got a million followers, and he's just been chilling ever since. He doesn't even post new content, it's all throwback stuff. Now the question is, are the Island Boys going to fall off? My fellow YouTubers, Hello Yasin and Blackie Speaks made videos about this topic, the Island Boys getting booed off stage and making most of their money off of promo. I've been really at the pool, guys, and the pool Rebuttal to this is, getting booed on stage is not the end of the world. It happens to the best of us. Every comedian will tell you that people love to heckle you. Dave Chappelle has been booed off stage, Amy Winehouse, Charlie Sheen. Everyone that matters has haters, and these guys aren't meant for the stage anyway. But what about the promo? People say that the Island Boys going on Cameo is short-term hustling. I agree to an extent, but if you go on Cameo, you see Paula Abdul, Master P, Danny Trejo, Chumley, Gilbert Gottfried, Tommy Chong. In other words, this is where C-list celebrities whore themselves out to pay for their legal fees and or divorce settlements, and why wouldn't they? You just make a quick video in two minutes and bam, you make $180. I'm just going to do some quick math. They have 133 reviews and each cameo is $180, so they've made over $20,000 off this, at least, because there's probably some people that didn't leave a review. Now there's nothing wrong with doing promotion, I mean someone like Cardi B has been in so many commercials, it is a quick cash grab, but in the entertainment industry, everything is. You don't know if you're going to be big a year from now, so you might as well capitalize off your moment. And I'll get to that later. It's crazy because back in August, September, Kodiak Red was doing the wheel game, making $50 a night. That's where 10 people give him $5 and then he gives the winner $25. He was beefing with Tarzan over $50. Bro, I'm not going to argue with you, Vim. Just, you, just, pay me, just pay me that profit that, that, that we make out of the games. You said what, little dog? Just pay me the profit. I do, do the you owe me money, little dog. Bro, just pay me what you owe me to call me a little dog when you There's four watching. slots that, here. That's what I'm saying. How are you going to call me a little four dog? There's four slots. Just, I, I can sit there online for two hours, nigga. We make a profit at that wheel. We make a profit. He owes me $50 on each wheel. And by the way, Tarzan and Red had a music video together, and it mysteriously got taken down. Hey, $50 can ruin a friendship. Back on track. Are they going to fall off? Eventually. But they're not going to fall off anytime soon. Recently, they've hinted at making a song with Youngboy, they have a collaboration with Nelk with Supreme Patty, and they're doing Logan Paul's podcast, and they're going to be in an Oliver Tree video. This one hit wonder might actually last them until February, but what about when people stop caring? I'm going to talk about what's holding them back and what they can do to keep themselves up. So what's holding them back? They're hard to work with. These guys love arguing with people. Cool. Chill your man out. What happened? He's freaking out on me, dude. He doesn't want to wear the glasses. Bro, I'm trying to ignore me. Bro, the glasses look good. I know they look good. As you could see, they were arguing with Oliver Tree because they didn't want to wear sunglasses in his music video. Not being able to step out their comfort zone might hold them back. Now you see that they're arguing with Gabriel from Nelk. These guys love starting fights with everybody, really contentious people. 
they would literally just go on Instagram all day and argue with strangers. It's not even an act. Tell them that their hair looks stupid and you'll get them going. So how can they keep their relevance? This is important. I'm going to compare them with two other white people, Bad Baby and Slim Jesus. Keep in mind that neither of these people are talented. Slim Jesus went viral with a song called Drill Time in 2015. Tens of millions of views, his face was everywhere, but today he's a regular person. He went back to working at Walgreens and you could probably get a feature from him for $400. He never made a career out of his viral moment. Bad Baby, she's probably the female Slim Jesus. She went viral for being on Dr. Phil, same thing, tens of millions of views. The only difference is she actually created a career for herself, a music career, even though she isn't talented. So what's the difference between these two? Well, Slim Jesus decided to stay independent. He didn't realize that he was a meme rapper and thought that he could keep his career going by himself. Bad Baby, on the other hand, signed with Atlantic Records and boom. She has songs produced by Ronnie J. She has songwriters, features from Lil Yachty, Ty Dolla Sign, Tory Lanez. She's no longer a meme. There's actually people that rock with her. Could she have done all this if she stayed independent? Absolutely not. Now the Island Boys have recently said that they've been declining record deals. Being an independent rapper only works if you're really talented and have a dedicated fan base like Tech 9 or Macklemore. However, if you're a meme rapper, you need a machine to keep you going because people are going to lose interest over time. These guys need songwriters. They aren't lyricists. They need big time features to keep them relevant and production too. Can they do this on their own? Probably not. It's going to be like Slim Jesus repeated. These independent rappers like Tech 9 Hobson, Tom McDonald, they all get over a million streams on Spotify per month. Fly Soldier is at 500k, and this is his peak. I mean, people are going to stop caring soon, so yes, they're probably going to fall off. Island Boys is going to be a one-hit wonder. They'll try to make a follow-up song, and it probably won't do too well. A year from now, they'll be arguing with Enzo on Instagram like, at least I had a hit once. And if they sign a record deal, then people might take them more seriously like they did with Bad Baby. Yes, record labels do take a portion of your money, but it's better than being Slim Jesus. So if these guys want to tour, if they want to make hits be taken seriously, then they need help. Oh yeah. So I haven't uploaded for two weeks. It's kind of like I'm that dad that went to the store to get cigarettes and never came back. I didn't do this intentionally. My channel got a strike, so make sure to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat in case I get another one. Anyway, I'm out.